two months in a house, I'm back out on the road. It's been a week and a half of getting back into the swing of things, but I'm really happy to be out here. During the last few days of the house sit, a good friend from Washington rolled through and we all went camping together with the dogs. Turns out Jack loves camping, and I was reminded of just how much I miss being outdoors and waking up with the sun. I have no record prior to days Your light is on me I can say I have no parts I have no lines But I have you And you have me, honey Camping with us. You excited? You got your camping gear? You got your backpack? This is Jack every time we leave the house. He like insists on coming and will block the door. Jack, I gotta get out. Jack, I gotta get out. Jack. <laughs> oh, Jack. Jack. Oh, Jack. Oh my gosh. This little bandit snuck out. He knows. He knows. Chariot, sir. Oh, good boy. <laughs> yeah, we're going camping. Summer breaks, winter storms. I don't mind getting on as we go living. Well, I have you, you have me, honey. Dog toys are expensive, I'm taking it. Oops. A few days after the camping trip, we picked Jenna and Colin up from the airport. They've spent the last two months in Nepal, and we're just now coming home after summiting Mount Everest together. How's it feel? Yeah, we're back! <laughs> Everest summit! You guys killed it. Aww. So nice to be home. And you summited together. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Top of the world together. It's so rad. We said goodbye to Jack, Jenna, and Colin, packed up our rigs, and headed back onto the road. I just pulled off on the side of the road and it's so loud. <laughs> I'm like not used to all of this traffic noise. I'm used to quiet, calm house. But yeah, this is gonna take a little bit of adjusting. <laughs> this is actually like the first time that I've been in a place for so long, two whole months. And now I am getting on the road again and it almost feels kind of weird. Like having to remember a lot of 
things like, okay, I need to figure out where I'm going to sleep tonight and try not to get too dirty because I'm not sure where I'm going to shower again. I just drove through Jackson to get groceries and to drop off my propane tank to get filled. But Jackson is like a zoo. It's funny being here for two whole months. It's been like a ghost town and now it's just all of a sudden slammed and there's so many tourists. I'm probably gonna hang around here for a little bit because it's so beautiful. Nate and I lucked out and found a great camping spot in the Bridger Teton National Forest. We stayed for five days, which was the perfect amount of time to relax and readjust to living on the road. I was even able to meet up with a friend I haven't seen since I was living in Hawaii 15 years ago, which is one of the things I love most about being on the road. There's so many opportunities to randomly meet up with amazing people. I just took a two hour nap and it's 7.30. Just went and walked through the woods and it's super hazy outside. gonna try to get back on the schedule of being on the road so let's see if I can go to bed kind of early tonight and hopefully wake up for sunrise tomorrow. It was a long Monday to say come wrote it down in a song paradise lost but we made one last stop in Jackson to drop off some donations, which is something I do pretty often now that I live in a van and have limited space. Also, we were able to get both the first and second doses of the Pfizer vaccines during our stay in Jackson, which was a huge relief because we really didn't want to drive all the way back to Washington just for that. So we left Wyoming feeling pretty well prepared to hit the road and hopefully cross some borders this summer. But first, Montana. Got to the new campsite and this place is actually free, which is incredible. There's a reservoir out there, you can go swimming, and there's bathrooms, so really stoked. You go on, 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 on. Just like the river, you go on, and you go on. First morning in Montana, and I am making banana pancakes. Mm. This isn't too bad here, it's only three dollars and thirty cents. Now you're on a highway, windows roll down. Alright, so I'm about an hour and forty minutes away from the campsite. I don't really know anything about this campsite except for what I found on iOverlander, so it'll be interesting. And my mirrors have completely folded in because the wind is so crazy right now. So I'm actually having an issue with them because something happened with my system um, and like the power mirrors need to be reset. I went to a dealership and they said they can't access the control panel because it has a build over it. This panel comes off so I can change the brake light but the control panel is back here and that's a solid piece of wood. And there's a chance even if they access it, that the wiring for the mirrors goes all the way up here, which will be pretty much impossible to access. So I have been doing a really janky self repair here. As you can see, I've got gaffer tape. And honestly, it's been holding since Durango. Well, actually San Diego is where it started and that gaffer tape's been holding, um, but it just folded in. So I am pulled off on the side of the highway and I gotta go fix it. So I have to try to sit in the driver's seat and reach over and like manipulate the mirror so that it's in a good position before I tape it because it'll be stuck there. <laughs> So 
I just retaped it and it's extra janky this time. Um, but I just kind of want to get a move on. Um, and if it doesn't hold, I'll probably have to pull off at a hardware store and get some metal plates to hold it. But hopefully this will work. You can see it. I've got my bike back here and I've got my firewood down here, my gaffer tape here in case I need it. The van's all put together. I'm a hot mess. I still have another hour and a half to go. And a uh, great thing about having a toilet in the van, I just pull over, go to the bathroom, don't have to go out of my way. But you guys, it's so hot outside. I am like dying. <laughs> so it's really nice when I'm driving with the air conditioning. It'll be interesting to see what it feels like at this campsite. Hopefully I can find a shady spot. Hopefully I can find a spot at all. I have no idea what to expect here. Um, and hopefully the road's not too gnarly, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Are so good. Supposed to be holding. Oh my god, the tape just came off. Well, guys, it's not looking good so far. The tape already peeled off in both spots, and I haven't even gotten out of the road. <laughs> One thing I have been struggling with since getting on the road is just prioritizing work because. Once again, a lot of my time and energy and tension is moving towards where am I going to sleep, where am I going to shower, do I have enough food, do I have enough gas, do I have water, all of those things. And it's kind of hard to prioritize work emails and projects, photography shoots, video. Um, I really wanted to do a van tour this week and that's kind of been put on the back burner just as I work out other logistics for things. But it's still top of my list. I thought I'd throw this vlog together and just kind of update you guys on where I am. And honestly, I want to do more videos like this because this is what my life is actually like. You know, it's sometimes it's just super chaotic and frazzled and I'm just moving from point A to point B living life. Just like the river, you go on and you go on 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 Like the river, you go on. There's a bathroom, which is awesome. And I just saw some people walking their dog. And some of their fellow van lifers out here. And like the world you went around, the wind like goes up and so I made it to camp and I'm pretty sure I got the last campsite here. I'm excited. This place looks awesome. But I just took out my bike, unfolded it, and locked it up to the van. So I got a U-lock that connects to the van down here. And then I have this lock here. So it's locked up pretty good. It's accessible and gives me a lot more space inside the van. I got the van up on blocks to make it flat and got a campfire. Good morning. Just made my bed. This is the view outside. It's gonna be such a beautiful day. Oh 